Hello, welcome to the 76 tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at vectors. This is actually the last part in the series but we do have more tutorials in general coming. Vectors are containers for data like arrays and lists. It is very cheap in terms of computing power to access elements on like lists because you can just randomly access let's say the value at element 4. Vectors can grow in size unlike arrays very similar to lists but deleting from sorry there minus one blank there deleting from a vector depending on where you do it can be computationally expensive so if you do it somewhere that's not at the front or the back of the vector so like in the middle it can be expensive because so they're basically shifting the data around but if you're uh, just moving it from the back and the front, then it's okay. Same with inserting as well. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. But vectors are the main data container outside of arrays that we use. We use arrays. And then if we want something that is dynamic that we can grow in size, we don't use the lists. And that's just our preference. We use vectors, but maybe in the future when we do different projects, lists may become more attractive okay so what we need to do is include the built-in vector library header and once we've done that we're going to create a vector variable so vector then we specify the data type when we put int now the name of our vector and put vector and now to add data we're just going to do my vector dot pushback I'm going to put 45, copy and paste this, but change some of the values so they're different. 1, 9, 8, 9. And what we're going to do now is stdc out my vector to access a vector value very similar to an array, you put square bracket, the index that you want to access, or the element, I'm going to put 1. And I'm going to put an end line semicolon, and this will access technically the second element, which is at index one because it starts at zero one, so we'll print out, it will print out 23. There we go. If we were to try and put because this vector size is four, uh, the last element is at index three. If we were to try and put four, it won't crash. What will happen is You'll print out 45 basically loops back around so if we were to put 5 you'll loop back around go to 23 put 6 loop back around go to 1 that was weird just didn't loop back around properly honestly i have no idea why that didn't do that general rule of thumb just access the elements that you know. So basically, if you've got four elements, just do it 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And obviously, you can pop elements off, off it as well by doing my vector dot pop back. So if I try and actually run this, we get hmm, that is weird. You should have popped it. Hmm. Oh yeah, well, we can just remove it like this as well. So if we just do three, sign it to zero, and we get zero. So we can access and change the element like that. That is it for vectors. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube or the required link for source code will also be in the description. Like I did say, this is the last tutorial in the C++ program series, but that is not to say there won't be more tutorials in general, and potentially more tutorials in this series. And let me just quickly explain what I mean by that. We have covered all the topics we want to cover, but if, we, if we're just programming or whatever throughout our day, and we think that there's a certain topic or certain set of topics that we haven't covered in the series and deserve to be in the series, we will put them in. Basically what I'm saying is this series may grow beyond 76, but don't hold your breath for it. Don't wait, at, don't watch the first 76 tutorials or the current tutorials and think, yeah, there's gonna be another one or another two. There probably won't be. Um, yeah, that is it.
And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.